Hi guys, it's Amy with Name to Plan, and today I am here with kind of a different video. I'll be in the holiday planner decorating the October monthly spread. So you can see here I have Sophia's memory book. Um, if you've been following along on the channel, you know that I created this cover to be the cover for our holiday planner. Um, and our holiday planner is going to serve, or this cover will be serving a dual purpose in that it will house Sophia's memory book as well as the holiday planner. Um, and the holiday season for us starts in October. There are a lot of fall events that are happening um, and it's just a fun time for us to, you know, get into the mood, uh, celebrate some of the fall stuff before Christmas kind of kicks into gear. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just flip to the, um, like past all of Sophia's memory book stuff to the pages for the holiday planner side. This this is a divider from a May 2020 planner that I had. Um, I just redated it in a previous video. Um, I will remember, try to remember at least, to link that playlist so you can kind of follow along with all the holiday planning that I'll be doing. But since we're like right at the beginning of October, I thought it would be a fun time to go ahead and go in here, decorate the monthly spread, um, and just have some fun with holiday planning. So I'm gonna pull this off the discs. Um, one of the things that I did in the previous setup for the holiday planner is, you know, I have it set up where it's just the calendar pages, like the divider, the monthly page here, and then I taped down the back page that has just the October notes. Um, and so um, I did white out all of like the stuff that was related to May, like this was Mother's Day um, in like the May 2020 part of it. And now um, with it being blue, uh, it's kind of a weird color for October. But anyway, I'm just going to go with it, um, decorate this up. What I'm going to be using this monthly spread for is to make a list of all of the big events that are happening holiday wise for us as a family. And also just to like, you know, every once in a while, I'll get on Facebook and just kind of like do a Facebook events search and just find fun things that are happening in our city. Um, and even though we're not going to do all of those things, it's just nice to kind of have like a community calendar, if that makes sense. Um, so it's going to be a mix of family events as well as community calendar related stuff. Um, and, you know, I hardly ever do monthly spreads, so this would just be fun to decorate. Um, so without further ado, since it is for my holiday planner, I thought I would pull out all of my seasonal stickers and just kind of take a look through some of this stuff like oh my gosh that's super cute oh and i think that goes well with the blue so we're gonna definitely set this to the side um i think the purple foiling goes well with the color already on the page um and so i think we'll go with this um and then i have this sheet of like the same font here's another one this i wonder if i should do the orange okay so i might do the orange foil um but definitely like there's some sheets like this i like the decor pieces here um, so we're gonna kind of be all over the place. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, so here's some purple. This feels more fall to me, less like Halloween. Um, but since October does have Halloween, I thought I would go that route um, and see where it takes us. Maybe I'll do some pumpkins. All right, so anyway, there's just all sorts of stickers in here. I've pulled like a lot already. Um, and I will probably um, come back. Um, I already know that I do want to have like a spread for Halloween costumes. Um, in fact, I was going to do that earlier in September, but I just ran out of time. So it will be coming up soon that I put together a spread just for the Halloween DIY costumes that we're planning to make uh, for the end of October. Uh, but I also plan to do a couple of uh, videos related to fall cleaning, all the things that I feel like should go into a holiday planner. It could also go into a home binder, really. Uh, but, you know, just some things to spruce up the house. Um, Sophia, who's four, is really interested in, like, doing fall decorations. And so we've already started buying decorations um, and decorating the house for the first time. I hardly ever do, like, home decor. So, anyway, there's just going to be a lot of fun. I hope this will be, like, kind of a fun project to document some of these things. Um, and I've been really inspired lately um, on YouTube watching, like, a bunch of, uh, like, October daily videos. I don't plan to do an October daily uh, setup, but I certainly want to do like some memory keeping um, as well as planning in this holiday planner. So I'm excited about all of that. I wanted to use the sticker first to creep, creep it real, but I'm gonna go ahead and white out this little notes section right here and maybe stick it right here. First sticker going down now that I've like chatted your ear off. Um, and so that's super cute. I like, if you've watched previous videos, you know I don't like it when it cuts off the word, so I'm kind of like, ah, it cut off the word, but I'll have to survive. It'll be fine. Um, the purple, I feel like, doesn't go well with the orange, or maybe it does. 
right? Maybe it does. I'll just go with it anyway. Um, and as you probably uh, know, like if you have a lot of community events in your area, in your city, uh, you know, most of the events are happening on the weekends. So I can kind of decorate on this side a little bit more. Um, and so I'm going to put like a little, a little um, cluster here of pumpkins just right here. I'm guessing that Monday, Tuesday, we're probably not going to do any community events. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Right. And I don't know exactly what we have, like in terms of the community calendar, like what's going on in our city. I have not looked at all, uh, but I definitely want to, you know, have space for it. Um, like I just, I'm not crazy about the purple orange combo, but we'll just get, we're just going to go with it. All right. This one, um, is a sticker that was like pulled up and then like replaced. So I'm just going to trim off that little edge first and then I'm going to cut it at an angle. Like it's sticker all over me now. Messy crafting happening. Um, so I'm going to cut it at an angle and use this as like, just to mark some boxes in this area okay so i know like for me i have our fall break my fall break is this week starting this wednesday so i'm gonna go ahead and mark this off it starts right there All right and then let's see we wanted to try to do a family trip right here you know maybe i'll just do it right here um to kind of mark the end of the trip. So the 11th is um, Columbus Day, Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, and so Sophia is out of school that week. So we're th we're, we were thinking about doing a short like weekend trip. Um, so that will be kind of fun, we hope. All right, and now that I did that, maybe I should move this over here on the 7th. So my fall break is Wednesday and Thursday. I do not work on Fridays usually. So I'll do it like this and then I'll find some colorful boxes to kind of like sit across the space is what I think I'll do. And again, like it'll be major family events, but also like big like community events. So I feel like I need a lot of like functional space to write. Um, yeah, right. Like I love this sticker right here, but look, Halloween is like half of a box, which is kind of sad, you know? All right, I'm going to go back to some of the black and some of the purple. Sorry for shaking the camera there. Um, right, this one says making memories. I really love that. So let's see. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna, oops, didn't mean to drop it. I'm just gonna put it in a random spot just to kind of balance out some of the color here. I don't know what's happening on the 20th and the 21st. Again, have not looked at a calendar. But I just want to get some purple on this side of the page. And then let's mix in some black. These are all kind of like bucket list type stuff. So I don't know if I'll put them down. I feel like I should save them for when we actually do these things. See, like, buy Halloween candy. I mean, I would love to put that on here, but I don't know exactly when that would happen. Like, going to a pumpkin patch. Definitely want to do that. Like, maybe I'll, like, just for, like, the sake of seeing what this looks like. Maybe we should do, is it a pumpkin patch right here? Yeah, see, it looks great. I'm going to put it down. Hopefully I can pull that back up. Um, but yeah, so I think it looks great like that, but I don't want to put down a bunch of these. Like, I w we would love to do this, booing our neighbors. Um, I had no idea what that was, but apparently it's like, you know, putting treats on your neighbor's door and just like, you know, surprising them with like a little package of some sort. Um, We've never done that. Sophia's just been a little bit too young for that, you know, um, and, but now she's old enough. Um, and so it would be quite exciting to do some of that. All right, this is brown, so it's leaning more towards like, like fall, and I wanted something a little bit more purple. Maybe I should pull some washi. I feel like I'm all over the place with this video, but I found this one roll of like glitter purple washi. She might be super cute. All right, I'm gonna try this. All right. This, because of the glitter, does not tear super well. Oops. Right. It's like super thick. I'm not a huge fan, so I'm going to trim it in half. 
Um, and like I've already kind of decided to use just like kind of a larger box for fall breaks. So I'll have those two days marked off with a colorful box and I won't need the washi for that. But this washi, I think I'll kind of use, I'll use it to designate our family trip, which is here. This washi is definitely not straight, right? Let me try a different washi. Like it doesn't even stick to the page really. I pulled out something a little bit simpler. Like there's dots and stripes and all sorts of stuff happening on this page, but let's use this one. To kind of mark off this family trip that we have going on. I need a, like a sharp edge, but I'm just gonna use like a divider. Hopefully this works. And then again, we're going through Columbus Day right here. Again, my divider that I just had on hand, like literally like right here next to my hand. Okay, so that will be there. I'll use a colorful box for both of those. Like I know for sure those things are happening, fall break and our trip. Um, and so let me go ahead and get a box so that way I can put those in here. All right, and again, there's a lot of purple foil. I don't want to add another foiling. So I want to maybe stick with the purple or maybe go with black. Maybe black. Black would be nice. Let's see. Black would be really nice, I think. Okay, I'm going to use... See, like... They're meant to be turned the other way. Like, I know it's upside down. All right. Let me just go with this. I'm going to put one right there. I'm wondering... I don't want to cover up the nine, so let's see if I can do this. All right, it's a big enough box, I think. I think that's good. All right. It will be fine. All right, so I'll have those two things in. And again, like, the rest of this will be, you know, just community events. I think... We have something here. So actually, let me mark this. We have a birthday. Like, this is all over the place, guys. But we do have a birthday that day. So going into my seasonal stuff where I have my birthdays. Oh, look how cute these stickers are. It's fall, y'all. All right. Let's see if I can find one in the same kind of font. Because I would like that instead of trying to mix. Or maybe I'll use icons. Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna go with this just quick flip through couldn't find anything there so I'm gonna use this one and the balloon we have a birthday party on the first I know that so I'm going to kind of mark that here and then again a colorful box I think since I've, I've started this I think what I'll do is use the colorful boxes for like family events um, and then use the, just like the open spaces to designate any community events that we have. Um, and then what I will probably do um, is write the community events in and then just use a highlighter or like, you know, like colored pen or something like that to kind of designate which ones we actually attended. So I'll write all the events out and then just like highlight or, or mark it in some way to say, you know, we actually did that one thing. Um, so, okay, I think it's looking good so far. I am trying to use up a lot of like these older stickers that I have. So, you know, like they're, they're kind of all over the place. Um, but there's this tonight sticker. Like this is a night event. So let me go ahead and put that in here. See, I love some of these. All right, so like, I mean, some of the things that I'll be looking up are like, you know, maybe there's a haunted house that's appropriate for a four-year-old, um, trunk or treats, or like any plans for trick-or-treating that are happening in the area. Um, since Halloween is on the Sunday, um, it might be that a lot of events are on Saturday. So, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, I like this one. I'm going to use this. If I can get it, there's a poison kind of 
set of bottles right there. I like this little ghost too. I'm trying to decorate this one corner right here. Again, trying to keep it fairly functional just so I have space to write some of these things. I like this bat. I'll put this bat up here in the corner. How should we do this? Maybe like this. And now that I've done all that, I don't like this pumpkin spice sticker right here, so I'm going to take this one off. I will save that for a different day. Put it in on a random page there. Make a wreath. I would love to do that. Again, like, would love to do that. I just don't want to put it on the calendar yet, just because I don't know exactly when we'll do that, you know? Decorate for fall. Definitely want to do that, too. All right, I think... I think I just want like one other little thing right here and then we'll call it a day. And I'm wondering if I should go with these stick waves. Let me see. Let's take a look. Hmm. Let's see. I do like this one, but it's not super like... It's not super like Halloween-ish like as I've got it here. So let me see. Should I do this over here? See, now I feel like it's kind of weird. All right, so. Hmm, I don't really love that. All right, I'm going to put it. Just to use it since I've got it. Okay, like that's the continuation of our trip there. So let's see. Like, I love this one. This one's super cute. I'm going to use this to mark Halloween. Actually, I should probably use a Halloween sticker. <laughs> like, all right. No, that's cute. All right, I'll just use that. That's super cute. All right, it feels really bare to me. Probably be just because, like, there's nothing in here. There's nothing written out. I like this one, too. It's not exactly the same font. But let me just use this here in this corner. Just to give it something in this corner. Right, I don't know. I don't super love it, but it is at least decorated. Like, obviously, I don't do a lot of monthly spreads because I'm really struggling with this one. But I'm going to leave it for right now. Hopefully, once I fill it in and put a bunch of events on here, it will look a lot more filled out. Um, we do still have a lot of plans in play, like tentatively, um, for the month of October, which I'm not going to put down stickers for, but for sure we have these things happening in the first couple of weeks. So we'll see where that goes. Um, and once I start filling it in with like more community events, um, I'm sure it'll look a little bit fuller. Um, yeah, we'll just see where it goes from here. But I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.